So in this video, I'll be talking about my two Doom teams I use in World Arena. In my last video yesterday, I was talking about Doris Runes and putting them correct for most people. If you don't have them correct, go watch that video and then come back to this video so that you can have your stronger Doris for World Arena so you know what you're doing. Now that you have a strong a Doris, you can watch this video. And this video basically means that running two Doom teams in World Arena is meta. If you can run two, that's great, you should do it. If you can't run two, that's unfortunate. Maybe in the next World Arena, I don't know when it comes around, maybe in three months or something, you can run two two Dooms and get some easy wins. So um, my both, my, both my Doom teams look like this. Main Doom team, pretty much A team, and then B team, Doom team. This is still as strong, not as strong as the first one, but it's still very strong. My win rate on this team, this main team right here, is like 95, and then this one's like 90, 85 to 90. So yeah, they're both very strong. I do fight strong people, not whales, like ultra whales, but I do fight some strong people with a lot of power. So um, they both work. As you can see, my relics down here, they're not all red. The reason why they're not all red is because I need to space out my relics between seven teams. I'm not on a uh, crazy budget where I can put a bunch of stuff in any other team and it's going to work. I need to uh, space stuff out so um, it can work. So I use the little back scratcher here. The little back scratcher, it's, it's a bit trash, but I use it anyway. Um, this uh, scale, not scale, sorry, the scales here is for Arishta, so she could be more bulky. And then the shield is for Lamia to give everybody sanctuary just in case they die by um, a powerful attack. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk about this team briefly. I spoke about it many times in all my Doom videos. I'm just gonna go over it briefly. Um, I put Arishta in slot one, not in slot two. Because Lamia in slot 1 is, is quite bad. The reason why Lamia in, in slot 1 is bad. She takes more damage but she deals more damage. Yes we know. Um, more people attack slot 1 than slot 2. Which would mean that Lamia can attack more offensively by retaliating back. But um, the bad thing is that she's going to retaliate into nothing. Because slot 1 is mainly always the bulky units. They're like uh, Monarchs, Twins or they may be Alma or whoever. Who are going to be not never dying here. And that he never dies... Um, if he's in slot one, this is a uh, video. If he's here, he's never going to die. He's always in slot one. When you fight anybody that has an Elmer on their team, he's never dying because he can't die, right? So if Lamia is in front of him, like this, for example, for this video, we're going to just draw the example. If it's like this, right, Lamia is going to retaliate into slot one and never kill him. It's, he's never going to die. He's only going to die if everybody else dies. But then that's just a waste of Lamia's uh, retaliate because she's going to retaliate into nothing. Therefore, it will be smart enough for you to put um, Lamia in slot 2 so that she can kill the... I see a lot of people that put a lesser, a less tanky unit in slot 2 so that target can die by Lamia when she retaliates. And then in slot 1, we put Arishtar there because she's the most bulky unit um, in Doom and she's going to take a bunch of damage with uh, scales and the shield because she can have a shield and increase HP. So she's never going to die. And then Madeline has to be in slot 4. Not slot 4, sorry. She has to be in slot 3. You can put her in slot 4, it doesn't matter. But I put her in slot, uh, in slot 3. They, they can be anywhere, it doesn't matter. But she can't be in slot 5. The reason why she can't be in slot 5 because Doris has to be in slot 5. Madeline and Doris have to be in the same team. It's mandatory. They can't be separate. They always got to be the same team. The reason why you need to put them in the same team. I've mentioned it in all my videos. I've got a Madeline video. Um, I made like last week you can watch that to understand it correctly but I'm going to go over it briefly um, when Madeline's in your team she applies this extra slot right here so Madeline gone extra slot gone Madeline's hair extra slot applies yeah this slot is going to um, put a minion for Madeline from a passive it's going to be a dragon when that dragon spawns it's going to make this team have six allies not five when there's six allies in your team it makes it have more reflect overall because it applies to six allies not five and then your reflect rate is going to go sky high because there's five five allies no six allies not five because Doris ruined base off your team's reflect and if there's six allies with reflect boost that would mean that your team is going to have a lot of reflect so Doris Runes can go on stale rays and kill the enemy team and also the reason why I put Doris in slot in slot five not in slot not in slot two not in slot three I put her in slot five only because this extra slot right here is basically a shield um slot five can't really get attacked by most DPS in the game before slot this extra slot dies so let's draw another example let's say there's an enemy there's an enemy nyx right here this, this lamia is nyx or whatever or or whoever it is it could be naui it could be any offensive dps right 
Lamia has to attack slot extra slot before attacking slot uh, slot five. So when there's a minion here, let's say let's say Arish tells the minion right, uh, this minion has to die like that. Then Doris can take take damage. But if this minion is standing on guard, this guard literally is going to protect um, Doris from not dying, which would mean in round two. Well, in round one, when they're fighting, they're all doing damage. In round two, because Doris is very slow, she's going to be the slowest one to attack in your team, which would mean that her death rate is going to be very high because she's going to she's going to go before or after everybody in the enemy team, which they're going to do a bunch of damage. They're all going to be on steroids. They're all going to apply a bunch of damage. And if Doris doesn't survive, she can't get her ult off. And as you know, in my last video yesterday, I mentioned that the Doris ult is very strong. If you've got a um, build out, like with the... Um, what is it called? Awakening or whatever it's called. When you got that all done, um, Doris ult is very strong. And of course, you want that to go off because it does a bunch of damage. But for now, I don't need it because my Doom team is so strong that the enemy team doesn't get to move. But as time goes on, let's say more patches come along, um, you want her to be in slot 5 mainly because so she, doesn't, she doesn't die. We get it? Great. Okay, that's pretty much it for, my, for this uh, A team. Uh, when a new Doom comes out, I won't be putting a Ophelia in this team. She's going to be in the second team, basically the, the B team, because she's going to have a uh, a good synergy with Athena and Halios with the free Enchanter. And when the new Doom comes out, I think it's the little panda you saw in the survey. He might be in the A team because he seems like he might be very strong. But yeah, let's just go to um, team two. Team Tunes a bit weaker. Do not look at my relics. They're, these are budget, I know. But again, we've got to space stuff out. Seven teams, absurd. I don't know why there's seven teams. But like a guy like me, I don't have everything. I don't have like um, all the new units. I don't I don't have that, right? So I need to make make use of what I got. And um, the reason why I have this little thing here is because it attacks all the enemies. And then maybe the reflect rate can clean up and get get some damage off and kill the enemy. But yeah, this is not good. Don't 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 copy this. I just have this come on. I'm on a budget. But um, you don't really need you don't really need relics on these doom teams because they're, they're so strong now. But yeah, let's just talk about this team. Um, Athena's here again. It's Athena and the Tart is exactly the same. So let's just use that example. Um, Athena's bulky. Athena. We don't care about Athena. Elmer's gonna be here. Uh, pretty much the same thing. Uh, Halios is pretty much like Lamia. Um, they only attack the, the person in front of them. We want Halios to attack a weaker unit. We don't want a, we don't want a, um, Halios attacking Almer because then he's going to be doing nothing and it's going to go into the void. Pretty much the same. Athena is a Rishtar. Athena and Rishtar are the same thing, doing the same job. And then Lamia and um, Halios are, the, are pretty much the same thing. They attack per, the person in front of them and they're going to do the same job. So they're literally the same as that copies of, of one another, but just weaker. Merlin is in slot is slot three, not because he's like Madeline. They're not the same at all. The reason why Merlin's up here and not down here is because, like I mentioned before, the person in slot one is going to be very bulky. They're never going to die. They might have monarchs or whatever they're going to have. They're never going to die. And because she, the new Doom is a single target damage dealer, a very strong one, by the way, she's going to be doing a bunch of damage. And let's say... um. She is doing. She has like a bunch of stacks. She's on. She's on steroids right now. She has so much stacks. She's gonna be doing a lot of damage in round two. We don't want it to go into the void and to attack the Alma, right? Because slot three attacks slot one when they ult, and we don't want it to be wasted into the void because we want this crazy ultimate to attack someone valuable in the enemy team. The valuable units are gonna be in the uh, three, four, and five. So we're going to make sure that this ultimate doesn't go into, into the void and attack slot 1. At least we can get a kill in slot 2 and help Halios kill this target in slot 2. So we're going to put her at the bottom. That way she can just go all out and kill the person in slot 2. And you're probably thinking, well, um, isn't she going to die like, like Doris? Doris is in slot 5. Isn't she going to die? The reason why she's not going to die because she is Monarch. She is working with Merlin together which would mean that they're not going to die by one shot so she can take big damage from Nyx or whoever and still survive the next the next round or the current round. And the reason why we have Merlin on, on slot 3, he has to be in slot 3 or it could be in slot three, it could be in slot 3 or slot 4, it doesn't matter. But the reason why I have him up here just like um Merlin or not Merlin, Madeline, sorry. Um, I have him here because he attacks all enemies and enemy team. If we look at his ultimate He's always attacking the enemy team, the all enemies, and then it says here, three random enemies. So he's never distracted by one unit. So he can never be uh, 
pretty much taunted he's not taunted but he can't be taunted and attack that only that one unit he attacks every single unit so we put him up the top so he can attack everybody because we don't care and then Salvin, we put Salvin in this team, not because we don't have anybody else. She she has a value in this team. She's like Doris, but a very budget, cheap Doris, right? Her runes, not a rune, sorry, her her relics. I said the same thing. Her her passive, sorry, her passive is just like Doris runes. That's what I tried to say. Um, Doris runes are obviously stronger. They're better. Doris is way better than Salvin. They're they're, they're similar, but Doris just is just a way better version, right? And Salvin is just a cheaper version. In her passive here, it says that she increases the stack rate from ten, um, from five to ten. So that basically means you have fifteen stacks of reflect in your team, which is very strong. That would mean that your reflect overall can reach a thousand plus. And when it's over a thousand plus, your team can pretty much one shot anybody in the enemy team. Like Doris runes, Doris is exactly the same. She does uh, increased damage off your reflect in your team. And if, because you have a bunch of top tiers and you have like Mad Madeline's minion, your team's going to be over a thousand too, which would mean the Doris runes are going to be on steroid and do a bunch of damage. Um, tactical formation is actually the same thing like Doris runes, but a bit weaker. They make your team have a bunch of a bunch of reflect stacks in your team so they can also reach a thousand and do a bunch of damage. And then her second passive is basically the exact same thing. Um, this will make your reflect in your team be stronger and you can have more reflect rate. So pretty much the same like Doris runes but in a character. Of course, if this character dies, then it's going to disappear. This the tactical formation is never going to die. But if this character dies, then this would disappear, right? But she's not going to die because the enemy can't move anyway. But her 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 passive are like Doris runes but a very weaker version. So you want to put them in a separate team so that you can have... Um, a bunch of reflect in this team so the enemy can die and then you have Doris in this team so they can die right pretty much the same thing and the main thing that people do not understand this is the main thing before I end this video Athena and a new Doom have to be in the same team you're probably thinking why they got to be in the same team they don't share one single thing apart from being Doom yeah they're both Doom but they share more than that uh, if you don't know this Athena, Athena runes increase uh, attack stacks by five the default is five she increases it from being five to ten what what does that mean for the new doom when there is more attack boost in your team she can do more damage we want her to do more damage because she's a new car we want her to be as strong as possible if we look at her passive right here every time she gains a reflect boost she applies one stack of attack boost to all allies Again, their their stack can only go up to five, like I mentioned here. Stack stacks up to stacks up to five times to by default. If there is Athena in your team with the runes, the EX runes, it's gonna go from being five to ten. When it goes from being five to ten, this can be now um, a way stronger passive because the stacks goes up being from five to ten. And then if you look here. Uh, every time they get every time she gains a reflect or attack boost on the team, she's gonna give a stack to her team of like uh, 10 HP, 5 defense, and it stacks up to 20. So this is going to be 200, and this is going to be uh, 100. So yeah, you need to have them both in the same team. So this character can work off Athena's runes, and Athena runes basically make herself stronger and the, everybody else in her team stronger by making a stack, their stack their attack stacks, it's really hard to say, attack stacks higher so that your whole team can have more reflect stacks so they can do more damage and also have more attack stats so the new Doom can do more damage and everybody else can do more damage. I don't know why it's so hard to say. It was all, it's just saying stacks like 100 times. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Do you understand? Hopefully you do. When you have time, go on your game and you can read it properly. I'm just showing you because I'm trying to make a video. But when you actually use it and read it yourself, you can understand. So just to make it quickly, you know... When, when Athena has her runes, she makes attack stacks higher. The attack stack is 5 limit by default. When Athena has her own runes, she makes it from 5 to 10. And a new Doom can be stronger because she can apply more attack stacks to your team, which makes the whole team more stronger overall. And then when there is more stacks applied to your team, they can get more HP from the new Doom from uh, there, there, there being more stacks. Get it? Great. I, I made it more simple, but it's still hard, hard to understand because I'm not understanding sometimes, but I know how it works. So um, go out your own time, do it, try it out and come back and say, yeah, it worked. It does work, whatever. Do you need the red ones? 
Not really. If you're if you're a rich guy, you're rich, right? You can get the red runes and the fina, but I ain't rich, and that's kind of stupid for me to do because if you're not rich, it's stupid. So I'm not doing it because it's a waste of resources. But if you're rich, you could be stupid. So go ahead and get the red runes and make her even more stronger because then you get the 100% uh, stacks down here. But I'm not doing that because it's a waste. And yeah, this team is very strong. Win rate for me. I'm, I'm on a budget, right? The win rate for me is like 85 to 90 on this team. And this team's like 95 win rate. Um, they only lose if Idora goes on steroids and has a very bulky uh, st a team with like a high power, like 15, 15 billion or something like that. And I'm not at 15 billion. I'm at like three. So yeah. Um, overall, two strong teams. Uh, I use the Revy meta. So use them. And then for team three, it's not Doom. It's not Doom at all. But I'm going to show you. This is what I use. Um, I'm on a budget. Most people are probably going to be on a budget. The reason why I put this mermaid in this team, this mermaid is pretty, she kind of sucks, right? But she has to do something because we need something. We need people to be working because we have seven teams, which is absurd, but we need everybody we can to be doing something. I put her in this team. It's quite random. Yes, I know. The reason why I put her in this team because I don't have enough route in this team. And I'm not using Femis because Femis is trash. And the reason why I can't put Makari or Victoria in this team because they're both Monarchs and they can work somebody, somewhere else to help that team get a win. But this team's pretty strong. And the reason why she's in this team is because uh, she has a stun in her kit. As you can see here, she has a stun when she gets her attack stacks or attack boost. We're in a Val team. We've got, um, I forgot her name, but we have uh, a whole Val team that can have a bunch of stacks. And then when she has at least three stacks, she can apply a stun that has a 50% chance to all apply stun to all enemies for one round. We don't care how long it is. As long as she gets the stun, that's what we care about. And then when she does apply the stun to at least one enemy in the enemy team, this, this character here can now apply her ultimate down here. Um, anytime when, when an ally applies a stun, she's going to use her ultimate again, which would mean that if the mermaid gets a stun from attack stacks, of course she's going to get attack stats. She's in a Val team, of course she's going to get the, the, the attack stats. When she applies a stun, boom, this cat is going to go off and attack again. That's uh, pretty much it. Um, most people don't know that, but yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty nice to have. And you're probably thinking, well, she's too slow. Um, if you don't, if you don't have the skin, do not attempt this. Do not attempt it. It's worthless. If you have the skin, use it. The skin gives her five speed, and she all has. She has a speed of one, one of five. It's gonna give her five more speed. So that means she's gonna be faster than most people in an enemy team. She's gonna be above one of six. So that's great. That would mean that she's gonna be faster than default. Um, default skins. She's gonna be faster than. Uh, Karnak, she's going to be faster than Makaria, she's going to be faster than Victoria, Nyx, you already know all these other characters, she's going to be quicker than them, so she can apply a stun, boom, she applies a stun now, and then this character is going to be retaliate and be like, well, my team just got a stun from my, from my passive, I need to retaliate too, and attack, so these two work together, and they share um, the same um, sync stacks too, so it's very nice to have. So yeah, that's it. It's not about, this isn't really about Doom, but I'm just going to let people know that if you're on a budget, there's many ways you can use these, these trashy characters. She's not, she's not trash, but the mermaid, the mermaid quite is. And then, yeah, that's my team. So, um, my Doom video right here, both Doom, and then you can put this in your team if you're looking for a budget team to run. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. If it did help you, say anything in the comments and I'll reply to you when I can. And if you want to know anything about World Arena or Doom, I'll try and get some information about it and test it out and let you know. But yeah, thanks for watching.